In this video, we are going to go over the top six NeoVim plugins for NeoVim 0.6. You do not have to have NeoVim 0.6, but you do need to have 0.51. And I recommend building from source or taking nightly. So let's start with NVim Comp. NVim Comp has taken over from NVim Compi as the most popular completion engine written by the same author. If you're interested in learning more about configuring and customizing NVim Comp, take a look at the video highlighted above. All right, let's take a look at some of these completions in action. So I'm just gonna use a function snippet here and you see it gets filled in and we can see all the nice completion here. We have all of our sources being populated. And you can see some of the ghost text showing up as we scroll through and the definitions and help information as well. NVim Comp has a ton of sources created by the community and the author. You could pretty much find anything you would like for a completion source or you can build your own. The API for NVim Comp is much more approachable than it was for Compi. So find one or build one. Now we move on to the awesome Git signs. You can get just about everything done that you need to do with Git. So let's go ahead and delete this line here. And we see that we have a deleted line and let's preview that hunk. You can see the deleted line. Now I've toggled on current line blame. And so now each line that I go to, I can see the blame very, very handy. You can leave it on or toggle it on and off like I do. All right, and we're back here at the hunk. And we'll go ahead and reset the hunk and you can see our line is back. And let's do another one that's a little bigger, deleted two lines. You can see the hunk there. And now we reset it. And if you look at our Git status, it's nice and clean with the files that we've been working on. All right, we'll change true to false. And we'll take a look at the diff. And you can see we have a word diff here because false and true both end with E. So that's pretty cool. We did that with Fugitive, but guess what? We can do that with Git signs as well. Word diff right there. Super sweet, super useful. Now I use Telescope for Git status. And you can see this is the same one we saw from Fugitive earlier. But I'll change this back to false. And now you can see that I'm getting the diff. Now, if you need to do a reset or anything like that, I use Telescope for Git log as well. And since we're talking about Telescope, let's get into Telescope. Now I have other videos going in depth on Telescope. So I'm just gonna walk through some pickers and talk about them a little. This is my project files file finder picker. And I can search through my files and see a preview. Buffer picker, very useful for switching buffers. live grep it's very fast help tags is wonderful get a preview of help and see it right there in telescope so fantastic and you can take a look at your key maps 
and switch through your various leader keys. Take a look at your different key maps. So useful. This is an extension for Zoxide. This is notification history. Stay tuned for more on that. Here are Git branches. This is old files and I call them recent-ish. These are your marks. It's another picker. And this is finding words or another grep. And this is a special picker that I have just for going through and looking at NVim config. I have a picker for going through NeoVim source code. You can find all of these in my dot files. And of course, more telescope videos are linked in the description. Okay. And here's a telescope bonus tip. People don't seem to know about this. So when you're in a picker, you hit the question mark, you get to see all of the key maps available to you and select the one you want. Magic. Invim tree sitter. The ability to do just about anything with your code within a buffer. There are several NVIM tree sitter plugins that are official and several more from the community. So let's take a look. We can select out through nodes, and this will make a lot more sense when we look at tree sitter playground. If you're not familiar, we can take a look at what modules we have for each language. We can toggle various modules and you can see what it looks like without highlighting on from tree sitter and how much better it looks with it we can rename things we can use ts highlight capture under cursor this is very useful when creating themes and we'll take a look at the playground and you can see as we move through the various nodes, the code that is represented by that node gets highlighted. So the sky's the limit in creating tree setter plugins and writing your own queries to do what you need to do. NVim notify when you want to get fancy with your echoes and prints. I hit a hotkey to show you the current date and time, and we'll look at the implementation in just a second. Now we're going to use my debug notifier to get the value back of this buffer's name. And you see, we get that really fancy notification pop up. All right, so let's take a look at some more here. You saw the current date. I also use this to let me know what my Todoist task was. And here is yank current file name. Now you're going to see a demo for that in the next section. And then look, this is your notification history. Much better than looking at the messages down in the command line. Finally, we have plenary. Many of the plugins that you use are probably using this. And if you're going to build a plugin, you'll probably want to use this. Great for jobs, pop-ups, and other things. And we'll take a look at a job here. You can see that I want to yank the current file name out to the system clipboard. So I'm going to need to pipe it out to PB copy. And so I've set that up to go through here using a plenary job and I want to call yank current file name and I get the awesome notification. That was your top six 
plugins for NeoVim 0.6 looking forward in no particular order. Keep in mind that I am using a cutting edge version of NeoVim. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. See you next time with more excellent content.